Okay, so here's here's the deal. Uh, question for you, Simon. Yes. All right. What what at what age did you move to the United States? Um, it, it was in the it was in the winter. I don't remember. The, I don't remember. Like I'm so How old. Are you, though? Um, I think seventeen. <laughs> okay. So okay. That oh, okay. that that explains why I grew up until I was ten in Germany, but I had. Well, people tell me they can say on certain see on certain words that yeah. I have a German accent, but I I just don't. But you definitely do still have your English accent yes. even after all those years. Yeah, after a certain age, yeah, things don't change. You know, like after a, and I think like and um, I have a brother. I have a brother that is a is a is a great um, soccer pundit. Right, he was on my show this week, and he. He, he he his accent changed because the people that he sort of became friends with made fun of that accent so he oh. purposely changed it to Ooh. interact with people in the US me i just told i just gave everyone the finger and said man listen i'm going to get girls with this i'm going to get jobs with this <laughs> money with this i'm going to have doors open up with this um so guess what um and i surrounded myself with and, and I don't want to shock any Americans out there, but I surrounded myself with with Irish people, Scottish people, Welsh people, um, English people that, that became my friends. Yes, Irish people and English people, we, we're actually, we get along. So I was, um, was going to say, people that normally would hate you if you were in England. <laughs> well, again, another myth. The only time, the only time that we get we get mad at each other is when when an, a hyphenated American, like an like an Irish American, an Irish American, yeah, they get in the mix and go, "What? Should you guys hate each other? No, you don't know. Be quiet. We don't. We're friends." Um, so I surrounded myself with the people with the same kind of accent. So it was, it, it, I didn't, I didn't get. I mean, actually, I think my brother got into fights over the accent. I got dates over the accent. So. He changed, I didn't, and it, it, it sort of worked out well um, because I live in a sort of an English bubble, so to speak, since I, since I moved here. I didn't really have too many American friends. Uh, you know, I had a lot of English friends and, we, and you know, it's a, it's a different sort of culture inside that bubble. Um, I didn't go to bars, I went to pubs, <laughs> you know? Um, Crazy, yeah. So it, it, it remained, and I, can, I mean, I can hear your accent come out a little bit, Derek, so that's because Again, I'm sort of used to accents, you know. Right. And and one day I'm going to do a show in a fake American accent. And, and I'll see, do one in a fake English accent. Yeah. We'll, yeah <laughs> well, we'll, that'll offend that'll offend so many people, Derek. So. Everyone, and we'll see who. <laughs> we'll, like, because for many many years, I hate to say this, um, oh. people said, "Oh, Simon, you know, you, you know, you, you know." Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say it in a in a nice way. I would always, I would always have a really nice looking date with me, wherever I went, you know, with, with my professional circles, and they would say, you know, the only reason you got that date is because of your accent, and then, mm -hmm. and that sort of transitioned into, you know what, you got to, you know, people think that you know what you're talking about in soccer because you got a great accent, and I, and I got really offended at that, so that's why I came up with like one day, I'm going to do a whole show in an American accent and see if anyone even notices. <laughs> like, you know, like, I, it's, it, I'm going to learn how to do a, a weird sort of southern dialect. Go Boston. Go Boston. What? Well, it's too close, I think. But I think, <laughs> you know, I think we'll, um, I'm going to try to you do need a, If you need a southern, if you need a southern dialect, just call up Brett. He can work on that. I think gonna work it's on UEFA, it. by the way, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to call it soccer. And see what soccer? Say. That's a horrible, that, I can't do it. Oh, I'm gonna call it soccer, yeah. guys. Yeah. I'm gonna call it soccer. But then when I do the <laughs> accent, it becomes like a wormy accent. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Yeah. It's, not, it's not the dollar long, so we'll see how that goes in the future. <laughs> All right, one last topic. Has what was the last you... question again? Oh, the accent. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now we could get into what the hell is uh, Gizmo D Rex accent? What the is that? And uh, I have to say, people have asked before, and they're like, "Oh, you're just ripping off the guy." Uh, Triumph. What's his name? Triumph. Who? Triumph. Yeah, Triumph. 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 But it's yeah. not. Nice it's actually. To poop on, you know. Yeah, it's a total ripoff. Actually, it is still a ripoff, but it's a ripoff from the goat on Adam Sandler's. Uh, <laughs> yes, there it is. I, I never, I never put two and two together. But 
Yes. <laughs> but isn't that Peter Schmeichel too? Is no, that- I don't think so. No, it's Adam Sandler's okay. character, and he's the talking goat. Oh yes, yes. Yeah, and he's <laughs> yeah. God, I that's where I've that shit a long fucking time. Oh yeah. my god, you button hooked me. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. is where that is from. <laughs> There's a connection in that. No, I I I don't consider Drek a character. I consider him the best American soccer pundit in the history of American soccer. We I should've... consider him the the pinnacle of punditry in America because he is literally egging on every person that he talks to and he's trying to get that little bit of information that like these softball interviewers <laughs> can't get. You know, and I remember the one, the one, the one interview that Direk. Again, I talk to Direk like it's a real person. I talk about like, the, the Direk interview with Bruce Arena, um, where he's talking about his balls or something. I forget. What it was. <laughs> I, I, I may be mixing that one up, right? But, but I think about, it's all of them, isn't it? I think he's all about his balls and stuff. About you know something, and I thought, you know, I could ever do that, but I'm sure glad Direk did. <laughs> You sure. better not to be I, mocking me, yeah, Simon I, Allen. I'm honestly surprised how many people didn't put two and two together who actually did be Rack Sports. That shocked and, uh, me. Well, that they shocked. did. They did in some aspects, but a lot of people thought, yeah, it was a character, uh, a real person. And yeah. It, I'm like, you're it's... you're kidding, right? It, his name is D Rack. Yeah. Dumb. <laughs> But no, I'm shocked that no other people want to inter- get interviewed by him. Yeah. <laughs> if I was a soccer player, I'd be like, let me give let me give you a choice. Derek Ritchie, Brett, or D Rack. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna choose D Rack. I, I would take D Rack any day of the fucking week, in all honesty. Like, no, if I was a soccer player, I would take him any day of the week. No disrespect to you guys, but D Rack, <laughs> bring him on. Like bring him on. I'll go toe to toe with a dog any day. I'm like, yeah, yeah come on, fuck them. Give me give me some shit. I'm gonna do it. Yeah. It's, it's it's going to be really more difficult these days with players like Balls already not playing anymore. But you know. <laughs> anyone with I mean that by the way I want everyone to go and Google the Bruce Arena interview. If you don't crack up and don't think it's brilliant, then- <laughs> there, I, I really think I think we should just re-upload them to our new our new YouTube page. Yeah, we should. We should oh, probably okay. do it. Do it. I, I, I'm not. By the way. U.S. soccer, Bruce Arena. I'm not endorsing it. I really want your interview, but everyone else, <laughs> go ahead and do it. Like, I'll, I'll make that clear. I think it's you know. I, I still want the interview. I don't want you to ruin you know ruin my chances by promoting this. Like but Simon told us to talk to you. <laughs> anyone else, go ahead and see. That's a, it's a fantastic interview. Simon, just for your comfort, it was actually a Steve Sampson interview. So oh, it Steve was Sampson. good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was all about. Park snooping when all this wife. Okay. Oh, that's <laughs> right. Yes, yes, yes. But, I, but also, um, uh, we don't want to talk about that. But the interview that on the phone with U.S. Soccer. Um, again, I'm not endorsing it. I still want to get interviews from U.S. Soccer. But if <laughs> I don't, that was a great one too. Direct trying to get a hold of anyone at U.S. Soccer. Brilliant. I, I hope everyone can. Uh, Direct fascination with uh, Hope Solo. Yeah. Oh, well, I that was great. I, 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 I understood I, I, it. I still but want I, to get a hook solo. Um, <laughs> if, 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 I'm not going to comment on that one. If you don't mind, guys. I, I, yeah, I'm going to steer clear. clear of Hope Solo at this point myself. And, um, <laughs> hey, she might she might become she might become USSF's uh, president for too long. Yeah, so should. watch out. No way I, in hell. Um, I, I actually, <laughs> I, I adore her. I adore her. I think yeah. she should have been president. Um, I think she's I'd great. Take her. But yeah. you know, can't be any worse than what we got. You know, no, exactly. <laughs> I think would have been, been much better. But um, the fact that you did that, you know, you, well, Drek, I should say, sorry, Drek. You know, yeah. I think um, you know, funny as hell. But uh, but if if Hope So is listening, I still want an interview. <laughs> <laughs>